Hello all, this is Mary Selwyn, working as Assistant Professor in the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science in RMK College of Engineering and Technology. Today, from Software Development Practices, we are going to see two operators in JavaScript, Arithmetic Operators and Decision Operators from Unit 4. Operators, what do you mean by operators? They are symbols that instructs the compiler to perform specific operations on two or more operands. What do you mean by operand? It is nothing but the data or the value. The operators prominently, they do two things. They are, first they operate on its operands and returns the operated results. The value to which the operator is applied is called as an operand. Okay, the combination of operator an operand is called to be an expression. Now we will get into arithmetic operator. Arithmetic operators as we all know, they are used for performing basic arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Reminder calculation is nothing but modulus operation and increment and decrement operations. Now, this table, this table, it lists, lists, lists down the operators, arithmetic operators, their meaning with an example and the result. First, addition, okay, the input given is 4 and 2, 4 plus 2 is 6, 4 minus 2 is 2, 4 into 2 is 8, 4 divided by 2 is 2. If we take modulus operation, it rest, the result is nothing but the reminder when you divide a value by another value. Okay, so 4, if we take the previous example, 4 divided by 2, the reminder is going to be 0. The next example taken is 5 modulo operation 2. When 5 is divided by 2, the reminder is nothing but 1. Then what is increment and decrement operator? Increment operator increments the value by 1 and decrement uh, operator, it decrements the value by 1. If A is equal to 10, if increment is done, it becomes 11 and if decrement operation is done, it becomes 9. So, here the reminder operation example is given. Okay, so when we do A modulo operation B, when A is less than B, the value is A. Example, 5 modulo operation 17. 5 is less than 17, so answer is 5. 6 modulo operation 17 is 6. 16 modulo operation 17 is 16. So, what is 17 modulo operation 17? When 17 is divided by 17, the reminder is 0. What is 18 modulo operation 17? In 18 divided by 17, the reminder is 1. Okay. Now, we will get into this example. Okay. Arithmetic operators. We need two inputs. Okay. For doing the first four operations. Okay. Now, five operations. So, as we all know, we are going to get the two inputs from the user using window.prompt. Then those two integers which are considered a string in JavaScript is converted into integer using parsent function. Then you are doing the operation sum is equal to, equal to p number 1 plus p number 2. Sub is equal to p number 1 minus p number 2. Multiplication, division, rem is reminder operation. Increment is p number 1 plus plus semicolon. Decrement is p number 2 minus minus semicolon. So, this is a simple example of arithmetic operation. Now, coming to decision making operators, okay, which are, which says whether the answer is going to be true or false, okay. So, decision making operators allows a script to make a decision based on the truth and falsity of a condition. If the condition is met, the statements in the body of the if statement is executed. Sorry, this example is about if uh, statement. If the condition is not met, the statement inside the body is not executed. The else portion will be 
executed. So, so true or false. This is an example. There are two types of decision making operators. One we call it to be equality operator. The other one is relational operator. Now we will look into an empty statement. What is empty statement? There is no semicolon. See first line. If there is no semicolon at the end of the first line of if statement, okay, then the this particular portion will be executed. Document or write the output will be good morning. But there is an error. Okay, a semicolon is mentioned here. So any programming language will throw an error. But what will the JavaScript do is it will can take the semicolon to the next line. Okay. If there is a semicolon in a single in empty line, we call it to be empty statement. It will do no task. It will do nothing. So, if power is less than 12, it will do nothing. If it is greater than 12, it will display the output as good morning. So, this is self-correction done on JavaScript. Okay. So, what is an empty statement? The semicolon on a single line is nothing but it will, it is an empty statement. Okay. And this particular table, it defines the decision making operators. First is lesser than, greater than, lesser than or equal to, greater than or equal to, double equal to, not equal to, triple equal to, not double equal to so less than example 5 less than 2 is the condition true no 5 is actually greater than true so the result will be false 5 greater than true 2 yes it is true the result will be true less than or equal to greater than or equal to it will consider the equal to operation also so the uh, outcome is given what is equal to operator? 5 equal to equal to 2? No, it is false. 5 not equal to true? Yes, it is true. 5 is not equal to 2. What is triple equal to says? Okay, triple equal to the values alone must not be the same. The data type should also be the same. Why the first statement is true? Because both are number data type. Why the second statement is false? Because it belongs to different data type. One is number, another one is string. Similar way for not equal to, not equal value and not same type. Only then the condition will be true. When you see the second line, the data types are different. Okay. Sorry. Here any one. Okay. Here listen carefully. For triple equal to, it is and operation. For not double equal to, it is or operation. If any one is true, output is true. So, when you look into the last two lines, the values are equal, but the data type are not equal. So, it is true. Why the first one is false is the values are also equal. The data type is also equal. What is this particular relational operator? It is not double equal to. So, it is nothing but false. So, this is an example which says, which, ex, which explains the relational operators. Okay, what is done? See, you can see date and time. The format to get the date, the syntax to get the date and time. The function is new date function operation. Time is date dot get hours. Okay, so what is this particular program says? If the time is less than 12, you have to say good morning, equal to 12, good afternoon, greater than 12 and also lesser than 18. Between 12 to 18, it is good evening, else it is good night. Whichever if, is, if else statement is true, that value will be displayed. Okay. So, what does this say? When, the, when this program was executed, the time is 19. 19 is greater than 18. So, it displays as good night. Okay. So, these are the two data objects to get the date and time. Note down this syntax. It's very important. 
hope you can you all can understand this uh, the teaching thank you